breadcrumb crusted fish and ranch potatoes. This pot has about a half a pound of pota potatoes per person is what I go for. As soon as a fork goes in and gently the potato starts to break apart, you're done. Parsley, dill, and chives are synonymous for me with ranch dressing. So that's what we're gonna do for the potato world. But we're gonna try and get some of that vibe going in the breadcrumbs for the fish. So for the breadcrumbs, we're just gonna take that stale bread that I defrosted from the freezer and ground up in the food processor and mix it with some melted butter. Honey, you wanna sprinkle in all that stuff for me? Yeah. Give me a couple tablespoons of the dry parsley. You can echo everything we're doing for the, for the salad, but all you really need is parsley, garlic, and onion. That. A good sprinkle, go across the bowl once, about a teaspoon each. So we have granulated garlic, granulated onion. They're best buddies, they like to go everywhere together. We're gonna put a little salt and pepper on the fish. You want a sustainable piece of seafood, and you want a nice thick cut. Center cut on cod, halibut works, but any thick white fish. Uh, tilapia works great for this too. And if you don't groove on seafood, you can make the same dish the same way with chicken. Six to eight ounces is what we're going for here. And I have veganaise, a vegan mayonnaise that's actually made out of chickpea liquid. The, the liquid from chickpeas. Um, aquafaba. Aquafaba, exactly. Um, they turn it into mayonnaise. Of course, you can use mayonnaise too. And this is a really old technique. You mix in Dijon mustard and slather it with mayo and mustard and top it with breadcrumbs and put it in a high temp oven. And you'd be really generous with this. I mean slather. And then when we take the breadcrumb, which we just made from stale bread, and you really pack her on there. The rack is at the center of the oven. The oven's on 400. And you just let this bake until it's opaque in the center and cooked through. I have this on so low that the cream cheese didn't, didn't melt Oops. yet. It's okay. And it's actually totally fine that that's not quite ready because every time we cook with potatoes, we want to put them right back in the hot pot to get the excess liquid to dry them out a little bit so they'll absorb whatever you're adding to them a little better. So we're just gonna let them hang out. I'm not even gonna put the cover on for a minute. I'm just gonna let them dry out a bit. And we'll put a couple of bunches of broccolini in the steamer, pop that back on. So here's our potatoes, half a pound per person. And you can use these as smashed potatoes or warm potato salad. And we're adding in all that buttermilk and butter and cream cheese. Mm -hmm. Dang yes. Be likey. Well, it gets a lot better Ooh. because ranch dressing also gets a full cup of parsley, dill, and chives chopped. Hot sauce. Yes. Mm -hmm. Little cayenne sauce in there. And even though we salted the water the potatoes cooked in, now we have to salt them again because potatoes just love salt, period. And they need some pepper. Honey, you wanna come down here and deal with this for me? Yes. So I can get the fish out of the oven? So you want them smashed? Yep. Or you can serve them just as a big, chunky, warm potato salad. Here's our steamed broccolini, nothing on it. So we're gonna add a little bit of lemon to it and a little salt. So you can do this with the big, chunky, white, sustainable fish or chicken, but look how good that looks. Wow. It's so easy. And you know, don't leave the snibbly bits over there. Get the snibbly bits. Snibbly bits are the best part. The snibbly bits are the best part, yeah. The extra crunchy snibbly bits. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm, mm. And then I like a little lemon zest. Yes. And the lemon wedges around the tray for everybody. Now you're just showing off. And then we'll take them ranchers. Come on, ranchers. Mm. Oh! <laughs> oh! Drop the mic. Come on. <laughs>